How do you start your day? What's the first thing you like to say? Or what are your first thoughts? Our psalm for today is Psalm 5. By the way, if anyone's wondering, I'm using the New Living Translation for these psalms. It just seems to deal nicely with psalms. Psalm 5. It's a little longer than the, the last few, so I'm not going to read it all out, but just pick out some bits. And the first thing that really hit me was in verse 3. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning I bring my requests to you and wait expectantly. Each morning I bring my requests to you. So that set me thinking, how do we start the day? There are times when I open my eyes and I think, thank you, Lord, for another day. Then I think across the day and what's going to happen, and I offer those things up to God. And there are issues going on, and I give those to him. I give him my requests. There are other mornings when I don't do that. Perhaps when I'm in a hurry. Um, I've slept a little later than I wanted to and I just jump out of bed and just get on with the day. And nothing seems to go right. Not because I started late, but because I didn't give it all to God first thing in the morning. Listen to my voice in the morning, Lord. Each morning I bring my requests to you and wait expectantly. There's the other thing. Do we just throw out our, our prayers to him and then carry on regardless? Or do we give him our requests and then expect an answer. Wait expectantly. Reminds me of the prayer meeting um, in a place that was very dry and they were desperate for rain. And so the, the church prayer meeting had got together and everyone prayed for rain. There was only one he was actually a little boy, only one, who brought an umbrella to the meeting. He was the only one not to get wet on the way home, too. He expected God to answer. The psalm goes on, talking um, about how wonderful it is to belong to God. Verse 7, because of your unfailing love, I can enter your house. With deepest awe, I will worship at your temple. Lead me in the right path, O God, or my enemies will conquer me. Tell me clearly what to do and show me which way to turn. Here's a man who's asked God for guidance and he expects to receive it. Not only that, he plans to follow that guidance. I can enter your house, he said. That means deeply into God's presence. It's only because of his love. And then to finish the final verse. You bless the godly, O Lord, surrounding them with your shield of love. That love of God's goes all around us, inviting him into his, uh, his presence. And also listening to our prayers and answering them. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that we can come to you with everything 
every part of our day. Help us, Lord, to start each day with you. So we ask you now to guide us, to show us the right way, and we will wait expectantly for your answer. Thank you, Father. Amen.